the essential training series for texture baking. With this sample, we are going to take a look at the advanced baking tools and difference between smart baking and object baking. This is a cube with a missing side, and within this cube there is a green light, so we have two sources of light. Out HDRI map and the green point light in the middle. If we render this cube, you will notice that the exterior of it has the normal texture color while inside it has a green tint due to the green point light inside of it. The sides of this cube are planes that lack thickness, therefore, baking this cube would yield an only side for each plane to be baked as texture. Let's go ahead and click on Bake Objects. Now that the baking is complete, we reduce the power of the point light so we would get a clearer view of the baked texture. As you can see, the green tint is gone. This happened because the face normals are directed towards the exterior, pointing outside. But what if we need to bake the interior of the cube? Let's clean the cube and increase the light's power. Then in the Advanced Baking tab, we click Flip Normals, which means that the normals are now reversed and are now directed towards the interior of the cube. Your render results won't change because the composer's render engine is able to produce information on both sides of a plane, while a texture file cannot. Let's bake it again with the normals flipped this time. We take down the light's power to get a better visual on the baking. And as you can see, the texture has a green tint to it resulted from the green point light because it baked the interior of the cube this time. In case we need to flip a single face in this cube, we click on the cube and select Faces from the Baking tab. This will result in breaking the geometry to faces. Click on the face you need to flip and click Flip Normals. Select your faces and click on Objects Bake. As you can see, only the flipped face was baked with a green tint. This in general is a very rare scenario, where architects might have a plane as a wall separating two lit rooms, and the smart bake might choose one of the sides over the desired one by the user. And as we have established earlier, Objects Bake takes into consideration the face normals, while smart baking and through SimLab algorithms can detect which face to bake and eliminate the black faces that you get in other baking software due to flipped normals. We have imported another model here. As you can see, there are some vivid details when it comes to the design and the geometry build. A curvy structure and wrapping surfaces are apparent. If we click on Info in the Advanced Baking panel, a window will appear with the geometry's details. This model made of a single object with a poly count of around 67,000. Let's go ahead and bake it using Smart Bake with the default settings. As it's shown, the baking result is good, but it has some stretching in some areas. And you can see that the texture quality isn't that high. It is due to assigning a single map of 1024 pixels resolution to a large object. Let's clean the object to remove the baking data from it and click on Smart Bake again. This time, we will set the geometry processing to top quality instead of fast and also toggle Optimize Baking Time on. What this will do is break your geometry into multiple objects allowing each separate object to have a baked map of its own and massively reduce your baking time. In this example, setting the polygons per object limit to 10,000 will yield to breaking our single 67,000 polygons objects to 7 objects. 
each with a maximum poly count of 10,000. Click OK. Notice the difference in quality and how we were able to fix any stretching or blurriness in the bake texture. You can also see that we now have seven geometries instead of one, and each geometry has its unique bake texture assigned to it. The last topic that we are going to cover is sharing your baked scene. It is very identical to sharing an unbaked model in Composer. First, let's click on Show Baked Scene to show our baked scene. Then, we choose Sharing, and under the PDF tab, we choose Export. Name the exported file. Select the scene states you want to export with the PDF file, and click OK. We can also share it as a WebGL document. We simply go to the WebGL tab and click Export. Name the file. Select your scene states and click OK. The same procedure goes for exporting the scene to Android and iPad. We can also view our baked scene in exhibition mode and be able to benefit from the scene states. In conclusion, texture baking is a great tool to better enhance your design's appearance and it is very simple to use. It produces great results with merely clicking a button. Thanks for watching this tutorial.